Okay, a uh, quick overview of the PV system here in the CD Eco Home. So we've got 3,000 watts of PV panels. There's uh, 12 panels up on the roof. Two of them are connected right now. So we've got a basic charge controller and all the switches. Inverter, 5,000 watt true sine wave. Uh, so if you look at it using zero watts, volts is 110. AC amps, 33.34. That's actually a little troubling to me because that means without any load, no load on right now, we're using 30 or 40 watts at present. I don't understand that. That means this inverter is rather inefficient in terms of its, uh, it's got a fan inside, but just in terms of its uh, standby power consumption. Okay, here's the batteries all connected at 24 volts. Got big lug terminals. These charge wires are coming from the charge controller. And if you look at them, this is, uh, so we have an amp meter here. We're looking at from the PV panels, we've got about 3.4 amps coming in. Uh, if we go to the charging of the batteries, we've got 4.4 amps. Now, how is that? Well, uh, that's because the charge controller, if the batteries are, so let's look at the, uh, okay, let's look at the PV. The PV is sending out 4.1 amps. Um, let's go back to, if you look at the PV, it's at 33 volts coming in. So this charge controller brings down the voltage and increases the amperage coming out of it. The connection to the charge controller, it's a tracer, 720 watt max, that's a 30 amp controller, maximum power point tracking. Uh, so the PV connections are here, and then the battery connection is here. Auxiliary power, we're not using anything. But yeah, this everything works out here. The only thing I question here Right now, the batteries are 27 volts. They're pretty much fully charged, but there's only five amps that goes, 4.6 amps that goes into them, uh, regardless of what kind of load I put on. So right now, I was just testing the skill saw, which is a 13 amp skill saw. So let's turn it on and let's see what happens to the power. I'll take a look at this power right here. So let's turn it on. Um, okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. So we're seeing, what we're seeing there is a, a draw of about one kilowatt, about 10 amps or so. About 10 amps. Now the thing here on inverter, I'm trying to reconcile if both make sense. So right now we're seeing that panels are still putting 32 volts out. The PV charging to the batteries is four amps. Uh, that's interesting because I ran the heavy power tool. Oh, it's a one kilowatt and then the battery bank It's like it didn't even feel it because I was expecting this to go up Since the the max charging current is 30 amps. I was expecting it to go up to maybe 10 20 or 30 Since as soon as the power tool is being used you want to refill the battery bank with all the power that you have uh, But that didn't happen. Maybe it's just because the batteries are completely full so everything is working here so far and then now next next phase of testing